feeling among the guys with this big trip coming up and kind of a break in all the stressful yeah. action? Um, a lot of excitement, you know, a lot of work went into this summer, um, just in terms of everybody gelling together and, and all the practices and just lifts that we've been through, all the late night sessions that we've had just over the past couple months. We're all really excited to kind of show the world, give Game Cock Nation a little taste of this upcoming season um, and just show everything that we've been working on. And what do you think or what do you hope that they'll see or the international competition will see from those couple games? Um, toughness, a defensive-minded team that um, operates on all cylinders efficiently and is all just on one accord working together really hard. Um, a lot of tenacity coming from this group, a lot of just toughness and grit. Um, and like I said, that defensive-minded that defensive -minded, uh, team. It seems like you're real focused on the on-court stuff, but what about the off-the-court stuff in the Bahamas? You know, the, the water slide and stuff like that. Like, what's what's the feeling that you have to see these guys in a much different setting and having all that fun? Um, it's a blessing for sure. Um, definitely just a, a great opportunity for us to, to have some fun together, build that team chemistry that's needed for a successful team. Um, just, you know, kind of switch up the pace a little bit and, and uh, like you said, have a chance to see the guys in a different environment. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it myself and looking forward to just kind of easing up just a little bit. It has been a pretty grueling summer. We've been working really, really hard. So I'm um, definitely just thankful and grateful to have the opportunity to go out to somewhere that has some good weather, has some water um, with, with the guys that I've been working so hard with and just have a good time and enjoy myself. What's going on, man? Pronounce your last name for me. Student. Okay. Student. Yes, sir. I'll make sure I have it right. No problem. Dave Conniger, so I don't for sure. screw up my names. It's all good. All right. <laughs> How do you see your role working into this team? I mean, the new guy, but you've obviously played a lot elsewhere. Was it to come in and say, I know I'm going to get my 25, 30 minutes a game? How did you come in with that kind of attitude? Um, I really just wanted to come in just openly, truthfully. Um, no expectations, no real anything said. I want to just come in and earn every every single piece of whatever I get. Um, I, I know, I understand there was um, some gaps between the team coming in, you know, some, some departures and guys leaving, um, going other places. So I, I knew that there was opportunity for me to, to come and claim some of that, that territory. Um, but I definitely just came in with the mindset of I'm going to take everything that, that, that comes to me. I'm not going to ask for anything. I'm not going to expect a single handout. I'm just going to grind every single day and then take, take it. Uh, take it. Yeah. Lamont system is likes to shoot some threes. He likes to have a lot of shooters out there. How much did that appeal to you when you were making your decision? Very much so. Um, that's definitely a strength of my game, my ability to shoot the ball and stretch the floor. Um, and it's something that I'm going to continue to capitalize on and get better on, um, especially this season. So, um, you know, um, during that, my transfer portal process, just, just talking to Coach Paris and, as well as the rest of the other coaches, seeing how they, they saw me um, fit into this team and, and into, the, into this system was very, very appealing. And I'm excited to show, show the Gamecock Nation and the rest of the world what I can do. Do they like you playing high, low? Does it matter to you? It doesn't matter to me. I'll play on the perimeter. I'll play on the block. I'll play in the paint. It's really wherever I feel I can be, best be utilized depending on the matchups and, and, and the context of the game. Thanks, man. Sure. Who tries to chirp at you the loudest, <laughs> and who is the best competition for you? Okay. Uh, let's see. I say me, me and Michi probably talk a bunch about about threes and, and, and who's a better shooter, stuff like that. Um, but I say probably my best competition, BJ. You can, you can shoot that thing. So. What, does that take you off guard that he that he would be the guy? Uh, not so much because I played him last year at Vanderbilt, so I kind of understood his game a little bit coming into this year. Um, but but definitely, yeah, I, th I kind of expected him to kind of be the one that if anybody would, would challenge me for that three point three point shooting. Yeah. I think I saw Trey out here with you today. Yes, sir, you did, Trey Kelly. Yeah, what's um what what's y'all's relationship been like? How how did he help you through the through the portal process and ending up in South Carolina? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, well, that's that's been my me my mentor and and like like an uncle to me for the past I want to say six seven years since I've been at Gonzaga College High School in D.C. Um, so so just be, being uh, in D.C. and moving out there and then building that relationship with Trey, um, you know, working out with him almost every single day, being him always being in my ear after every game, going through film sessions with him and whatnot. Um, as I entered the transfer portal um, this, this past season um, and the connections that he had with, with South Carolina, um, we kind of just um, thought that there was a, a fit on both ends uh, for my for my skill set and for myself as a player and also just for what South Carolina kind of needed coming into the season. Um, and so he was able to kind of bridge that gap and, and get me in contact with um, Coach Paris and the rest of the staff, um, and, and it was very, very appealing, to say the least.